In good health, pediatricians are advising parents to stop giving juice to babies and cut back on how much you allow older kids to drink it as well. Our Karen Drew is here with a closer look at the new guidelines and the reason behind them. Karen? The American Academy of Pediatrics says most children are drinking far too much juice, and that includes many babies. They've updated their guidelines to delay when children start drinking juice and are spelling out the limits for older kids, too. Fruit juices are marketed as packed with vitamins, but experts say most offer little to no nutritional benefit and could replace things a growing baby really needs. Breast milk or formula has the carbohydrates, the proteins, and the fats necessary for optimal growth. Now, if you replace those nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, with just sugar and water, which most fruit juice is, your child's not going to grow. All that sugar increases the risk of obesity and cavities. And because juice is so sweet, children generally prefer it to milk or water. The previous guidelines advised against giving babies under six months anything to drink besides breast milk or formula. Now, the American Academy of Pediatrics has expanded the no juice recommendation to include all children under the age of one. Even after that first birthday, juice should still be limited to just a half a cup per day for kids ages one to three, three quarters of a cup for four to six year olds, and a cup per day for kids over age seven. At the meals, it be, should be milk or water. All right, juice should be treated as a special occasion. I don't think it should be treated like as a special treat that you should get daily or you should be rewarded with juice. While juice should be limited, pediatricians say it's important for your child to eat lots of fresh fruit and veggies. Those contain the vitamins without all of that added sugar and calories, plus lots of healthy fiber too. Back to you.